So for this video, we're going to be finding all the following missing angles that we see here. So angle A, B, C, and D. Okay, so actually first, I'm going to start by finding angle uh, D here. Now, when I take a look at angle D, the first thing that I notice is it's sitting right beside the angle 58 that we have here. And one important rule that we can use here is that any time we have a straight line, any angles that fall within that straight line here, right? If I make a half a circle essentially here from one side of our straight line to the other, right? So that is called a straight angle. And definition of a straight angle says that a straight angle is 180 degrees, which means that 58 degree angle plus angle D must be 180 degrees together. So we can find angle D if we just take 180 and we subtract 58 from it. And if we do that, we get 122. So that means that angle D must be 122 degrees. Now I'm gonna go back and look at angle A. Now, another rule of these lines says that if we have two parallel lines like we have here, these two lines that go across, and we have this line here cutting through both of them, that's called a transversal. One of the rules that that creates is if we look at the inside lines that are created here, all right, so our inside angles would be the 58 and the D, and then everything on the inside of here, right? So this is what I'm talking about inside angles. On the inside, in this space here uh, would be anything inside angles of our parallel lines. And then of course the outside would it be anything out over here. And what, what one of the rules says is the alternate interior angles are the same. So if this angle here is 58, if we go opposite over here to angle A, this must also be 58 degrees because they're on opposite sides and they're on the inside here, alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are equal. So that means that angle A must be 58 degrees because angle A is an alternate interior angle with angle 58. So let me draw this a little bit out here. So alternate interior angles would be like these two angles right here, but also we would have another set of alternate interior angles by doing these like that. So that's kind of what we're looking at in our picture here. The next concept I'm going to be using is just simply that of a triangle. So we have a triangle sitting right over here. And the total angle measure of a triangle is 180 degrees. So all three angles within a triangle should be 180 degrees. So that means that 48 degrees plus that 58 degrees plus angle C must be 180 degrees. So if we take 180 and we subtract 48, and then we subtract 58, right? We subtract these two angles here. It should give us what angle C is. So 180 minus this angle minus this angle should give us what is left over. So if we do that math, 180 minus 48 minus 58 gives us 74 degrees for angle C. Right, so angle C has to be 74 degrees, which can lead us here to getting angle B. If we take a look at angle B right over here, right, angle B along with angle C and angle A, this forms another straight angle. Right, If we go from this side of the line all the way across, that is a straight angle. So that straight angles equal 180 degrees. So angle A, B, and C should all be 180. We now know that angle A is 58, angle C is 74. So whatever that is with angle B, it should equal 180 degrees. And if we take that 180 and we subtract the 58 away, we subtract the 74 away, right, from each side here, angle B should be 48 degrees. So that means we have solved angles A, B, C, D for this particular figure here.